Hi everyone, what's up? It's Joshua here from Alternative Brewing. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Technovorm Mocha Master KBT Thermal Coffee Brewer. What sets this coffee brewer apart from other similar styles of automated brewers is the high standard of precision and workmanship that goes into each one of these Mocha Masters. Hand built in the Netherlands, bench tested for accuracy, and using a boiler element that's made from copper that's known for its incredible thermal conductivity is what has given rise to Mocha Master's enduring reputation for making great coffee. The Mocha Master Thermal has a 1.25 liter water tank capacity, which translates to around six full eight ounce cups of brewed coffee, with a full batch taking only six minutes to complete. Now it comes in four colors of black, silver, white, and red, and each comes with a 1.25 liter thermal carafe that uses a brew through lid and a full closed lid that's included. There's also a 100 pack of number four Mocha Master paper filters and a 12 gram bean scoop. Now, if you've got a cafe and are looking to start serving batch brew coffee or working in an office or from home, then you want a hassle-free coffee ready to go anytime during the day. It's the Mocha Master Thermal that will surpass your expectations for an easy and delicious coffee. And you can find the product by following this link up above. But let's dive in now and begin brewing with the Mocha Master Thermal. Now, the method I'll be using today has been adopted for the Mocha Master from many other styles of coffee brewing to achieve the absolute tastiest cup and I will be brewing a full 1.25 litre capacity but the same rules do apply if you're only brewing a half batch or less which is easily done on the Mocha Master. But I would follow closely the recommended recipe of 60 grams of coffee per one litre of water and you want to be using beans that are ground to a medium coarse grind. Now getting the grind setting just right is pretty much the only criteria for brewing with the Mocha Master. Too fine a grind and you could possibly over extract the coffee, introducing those unwanted flavors or even clog up that paper filter and the basket will overfill during brewing. And too coarse a grind and it will under extract your coffee. And then you'll notice that the water flows straight through the grounds and doesn't keep in there for too long, making a very watery wheat coffee once it's finished. So it's about keeping the total brew time in between a five and eight minute window for the best results. And once you've got your coffee ground, we're next going to rinse our number four paper filter and put it into the basket. By folding those two perforated sides in, it will fit perfectly in the filter and then open up the basket's manual drip stopper to sit it over the vessel. We need to rinse this paper filter first by pouring that 200 mils of water over the top and this helps remove any of that papery taste and gets the filter to stick to the sides of the basket. Once that's done, fill up the back water tank to just below the 10 mark for 1.25 liters of brew water. Then place the grounds in the filter and shut off the flow control switch to the basket momentarily. And this prepares for the all important pre-infusion stage that helps get the grounds equally wet before the full brewing cycle begins. Now a great feature with the Mocha Master Thermal is that it has a one button switch to turn on the machine and then a secondary thermos switch that activates the brewing cycle once the carafe is properly put into place and is indicated by the light on the front. So let the water just cover the grounds and then turn the Mocha Master back off and wait 30 seconds. During this time, I just use the back of a spoon to ensure all the grinds are fully submerged and there's no coffee climbing up the sides of the basket. Then turn the Mocha Master back on and when the water begins running again, open the basket's flow control to half open. And the Mocha Master's spray arm has nine holes on it and does a reasonable job of dispersing the water across the bed of coffee but I do rely on the grind size and the flow control switch here to help keep a full level of water in the brew basket and then maintain a good temperature stability and a consistent extraction throughout. What you do want to avoid is having water too low and then creating a channel that digs a pit into the middle of your grounds. And with everything in order now, you're able to walk away and let it brew its thing. The Mocha Master is one of only a handful of specialty coffee association approved brewers. 
This meets stringent guidelines for temperature stability, ensuring that the water temperature at the point where the water contacts the coffee grounds to reach 92 degrees Celsius within the first minute, and then maintain at least 92 degrees Celsius for the remainder of the brew cycle and never exceed 96 degrees Celsius at any point. And this is the best range for brewing your coffee and the Mocha Master does an excellent job of keeping within this range. And this is just one of more than a dozen requirements of being a certified brewer. So if you're like me and you're curious about how much more the Mocha Master can achieve, in its brewing prowess, then I'll throw some links in the requirements of being a certified brewer in the description down below. With the thermal carafe using the brew through lid, this works to keep the coffee hot during and long after it's finished brewing. And that long funnel that reaches down through the carafe works to mix the coffee in the carafe. So you don't experience weak coffee in that first cup served and then it gradually getting stronger, but every cup tastes the same. So once the Mocha Master has completed its full brewing cycle, it will turn off automatically. And it has that auto off function that will switch the boiler off when it empties out the water tank. You can also shut off that flow valve so there's no drips when you remove the craft. And now you have a hot batch of brewed coffee ready to serve. You can pour it straight out of this brew through lid for a tasty coffee to add milk or enjoy it straight black and place the full lid on to keep this brew nice and hot for the rest of the day. In cleaning the Mocha Master, make sure you rinse out the brew basket and then clean the carafe after each use, drying it before placing it all back together. And after 100 brews or a complete box of filters, you will want to descale the unit. Look for the clean drop descaler with a link up above on your screen, and this keeps it free from scale. A majority of parts are also easily replaceable on the Mocha Master if anything breaks down beyond the five years of warranty. And this will help ensure the Mocha Master is in fine working order for many years to come. And that's the Mocha Master Thermal for you. It's a solid choice for a batch coffee brewer that will impress your guests and keep you caffeinated all day long. So if you have any questions on the Mocha Master Thermal, then throw them in the comment section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon on your screen and then that way you stay notified when we bring out new videos just like this every week. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.